I am joined by all these baths here. I didn't know all of these would be here. I thought it'd literally be about five of us. Mike's bought in his BMW t-shirt because he now owns a BMW <laughs> instead of an Abarth. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So I'm currently just at a petrol station filling up the 124 Spider to go to my Bath uh, AOC Dorset meet along with the Driven 24-7 crew. So we've got my dad coming in the old Panda VIP. My mum is here as well in the 595 Competizione. So we're bringing three cars. Um, should be a good meet. Hopefully some of uh, the local Bath group, like I say, from the AOC Dorset will turn up. We're also hoping that some other members from afar as well will turn up to tonight. So, um, yeah, like I say, we're taking our free cars from our collection. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you when we're at the meeting point in a bit and see who turns up. Here, guys, we are at the Fighting Cox pub in Fallenbridge in the middle of New Forest, which isn't too far away from where we live. And I am joined by all these baths here. I didn't know all of these would be here. I thought it'd literally be about five of us because it's a Saturday evening. I didn't think many people would turn up. But we've got the Abarth Owners Club bloke there um, in his uh, Bertie and his Abarth 124 Spider. We've got people that used to have a bath which are now bought in their newer cars and the cars that they traded in their Abarth 4. Um, we've got some of our AOC Dorset people here. Um, yeah, really good group of people. So let's show you around all the cars that are here today. So this is Sam's uh, Jeep 2.8 diesel automatic and believe it or not he used to have a Diddy Abarth but now he has this big thing. So like I say he's been on our AOC Dorset page for a while when he did own his Abarth. Um, but I said to him, look, still come along, show us what you bought instead of in a bath, so here he is. Then we're joined by the Yamaha XSR edition, which again, they're on our AOC Dorset page, and I've met them before, and their friend has brought along a Focus ST as well. Going along the back, so we have these three here, which we just told you about. We've got another yellow, so the white one, Tom, and this guy, their friends, they're both on the AOC Dorset page. He's only had his a week since new, so he's only done 400 miles on it. Um, Tom bought his use. Um, he was actually in our Dooley video the other day that I put on YouTube. We've also got a Mini Cooper, uh, John Cooper Works, why not? <laughs> So these two have come from the Sussex hot hatches. So again, the hot hatches. So why not have them here? So uh, yeah, they're actually matching colours because you've got the black and red of the Abarth and you've got the black and red of the Mini. So they actually look pretty good together. Driven 24/7 gangs. So we've got my parents Abarth 595 competition only convertible. And then we have got my dad's pride and joys Panda 45S VIP. Probably the only one in the UK. Uh, my 124 Spider. And then we've got this one here, which again, I met these at the Sherborne Castle meet, which I did a video on also. Another 124, so there's a surprising amount of 124s here actually. This is the lineup from the ones I've just showed you. Let's go to the other side. It's Gareth's uh, Punto Bath. How we doing? You alright? Um, so he's on our AOC Dorset page, met him a few times. So you've had the wheels done recently. Yeah. Anything else? Was there anything else you had done? No, oh, just all these scrapes and knots and, yeah. and uh, dents taken out of it. Tidied it up a bit. It's, uh, Are they yeah. diamond cut as well? A bit? Yeah, they've all been diamond cut. Yeah. It was actually quite reasonable. It was only about £100 a corner. So, really? So, uh, Did they have to recut them and paint them? As, like, the yes, same? It's, it's, it's not just a uh, respray. They're, they've been taken back. Yeah. They look like factory standard now. They are, so. aren't they? You can definitely notice them. Another. Bath Turismo here it's turned up. Uh, another 124 Spider actually. We've got Mike's BMW. Let's try and see if we can get him on camera. It's Mike's bought in his BMW t shirt because he now owns a BMW <laughs> instead of an Abarth. Um, so yeah, you had an Abarth automatic before, so you've now got the BMW. What is sorry, what series is it? Uh, one, uh, it's the one series 140i. And these are quite tail happy, aren't they? They are very tail happy, yeah. Have Real you experienced well that yet? Uh, yes, I have. Safely? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have. still in one piece. Um, why did you get a BMW? Because I've always wanted one, but I love me a Brath, but this came up, I had a bit of a windfall, and I thought, now's the time. Why not, yeah. And I bought this. So how long have you had it now? A few months? About a couple of months, that's yeah. all, yeah. No regrets? Oh, no, I love it. It love is it. lush, isn't it? It is lush, very it's quick. 
very yeah. comfortable. Much faster than near bath, though, obviously, well, and yeah. comfortable in most. Yeah, you know. it just. It's a it's a it's a, 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 a sheep in wolf's clothing, yeah. or a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's the way. <laughs> I knew I always get it wrong. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Pretty cool. It's actually a series three, rocking the uh, series four Competizione wheels, which actually is quite a nice subtle mod. So it actually looks good in the series three. We have the main man Bertie, who, like I say, runs the Above Owners Club. He's even come down, so it's really nice to have such a big person. Like I mean big name come down as such. He's not famous, it's not a celebrity, although I'm painting him like one, but it's really nice for, like I say, the main man that runs the Abarth Owners Club decided to come to one of my meets, so I'm very grateful. Hi guys, um, sorry I look rough and I look rather hidden, that's because I've been in bed the past couple of days suffering from tonsillitis, hence why this video is only just getting uh, edited and hence why I'm only just doing an ending for this above me video. I've got a new van out there that I have been using but I haven't been able to use the past couple of days, obviously I've been in bed and off work, so that's a shame. Um, but yeah, let's talk about this above me video then. Uh, I've been planning to do a meet mainly on my behalf, but also on the behalf of my uh, Abarth Owners Club page, which I founded, which is AOC Dorset. Check us out on Facebook if you haven't already. Yeah, I planned this meet um, a few months ago, uh, advertised on my Instagram, on the AOC Dorset page, and other Abarth Owners Club pages on Facebook. Um, yeah, and it's one of those things that when you arrange a meet, you don't know whether you say people say they're going, but whether they actually do or not, it's a whole different story. Um, I really didn't know what to expect, um, I thought there'd only be like five of us, me and a couple of other people, but to my surprise, um, when we got there, there was a red in the bath there, and I thought, mm, this seems like an alright start, fair enough, there's another one here, that'll do, at least someone's come along, um, and then as the sort of first hour of the meet began, um, we ended up having about four one two four spiders, including mine, we ended up having the Abarth Owners Club forum owner turn up in his uh above 124 spider bertie um which i thought oh my goodness he has come all the way to one of my meets um and i remember we we had we like i said it was a pub pub meet um so we had a car park area to ourselves me and i hired a room for ourselves um for all the obviously above owners uh, to sit and eat drink chat cars basically um and there was a moment when i was sat in this pro like Private, our private room and I sort of looked around me and I thought oh my goodness all these people have come to a meet that I've arranged and I've really felt touched because I've had a crap few months obviously they've been getting better since I've met Dale and everything but I have had a crap a rough sort of year or so um, and to know that I August little me organized something and like about 20 of us came and half the people I didn't even know I hadn't met I was like wow I must be doing something like yeah, I, f I really feel properly involved in the car community and obviously doing this YouTube business has helped as well. Um, get my videos out there, get my love of cars out there. Um, I know I'm raffling on a bit. It's because I've wanted to do this video for a while and now I'm coming to it, I'm ill and I'm going to feel my uh, voice going. But um, 
yeah, I just couldn't believe it. Um, and it was a meet for previous bar owners to come to, so people that did have a bar but now don't. So we had Sam in his big Jeep. We had lovely Mike in his new BMW. Um, we had a really cool and loud John Cooper Works Mini. Um, a Sussex Hot Hatch Group, which consisted of the Mini and the Abarth. They were two really nice people, actually. Um, so go and have a look at their group as well. I think they're on Facebook as well and Instagram. Um, but yeah, it was a really good meet. I'm going to end this here because I really can't speak anymore. Um, I was, it is a weekend, it's raining outside. I was going to try and film the video for my new van. Um, I'm not because the weather's awful and I'm still not feeling too great, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I hope you really enjoyed my sort of first meet on behalf of Driven 24-7, my YouTube channel, and on behalf of my AOC Dorset, uh, a Bath Owners Club page. Um, give this video a like if you wish me well. It's getting well, I mean. Uh, if you liked all the cars that turned up, um, and if you like my videos, obviously, um, subscribe to my channel. Um, in my previous video, I was all about, oh, I want loads of subscribers. I've now changed my mind and I'm thinking, you know what, stuff it. I'm just going to be one of those YouTubers that makes videos for the hell of it. If people like them, great. If people subscribe, even better. If they don't, well, I'm still having fun and meeting new people along the way. So that's that. Um, and follow me over on Instagram, although I haven't really been posting much there lately because my mind has been elsewhere, but give me a follow anyway. And I'll see you again in a better video when I'm feeling better and I can show you my new van. So thanks for the support, guys. See you again soon.